And it was a presidential candidate trying to get everybody to root for him and holler and scream for him. And that's what exactly what they did. In fact, at the beginning of the meeting, before the uh, candidate arrived, they would have people doing test runs. Okay, when the candidate arrives, what are you going to do? And everybody would wave their signs and, and hoop and holler. They'd do a little practice because they weren't quite used to getting excited about something. And I said, these people haven't seen anything. What they need to see is a house full of two worshipers. A house full of people who know what it's like to have your sins washed away. A house full of people who know what it's like to be redeemed with not corruptible things like silver and gold, but by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen, amen.
didn't say a word, but I was driving a van full of young ladies who were ready to come to church tonight. And I didn't say anything. I was just thinking about all the thoughts, of things I have to do this weekend and about tonight. And all of a sudden, they just began to sing and worship God. They weren't singing the songs of the world. They weren't singing the songs of Hollywood. But they began to sing worship songs. Lord, I lift your name on high. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. And is it any surprise that I had to leave them in the van as I came in here because they were speaking in tongues and letting the Lord do a work in their life? It's when God's people will praise and worship Him. We have added to the praises of His people. Once again, all over this place, let's look up worship to the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, take the hands God gave you and put them together right now. Take the voice He gave you and lift it up in praise to Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, come on. He's worthy of the praise. Yes, He is. Thank you, Brother Darren Crow. I've already been blessed for being here. How about you? Amen. What a great word from the Lord. Tonight I'm here to receive an offering, but before I do, I have a couple of announcements. First of all, after tonight's service, there will be skating. It will be held at Skate World of Troy. There will be tickets on sale in the lobby. They are five dollars. You buy your ticket here, and you take your ticket there. They let you in. That's how it works. So go to the outside in the vestibule, go to the uh, counter, buy your ticket for $5. You can pick up a map there. It'll tell you how to get to Skate World. The skating is from 11.30 till about 1.30, and it's always a great time. We always have several hundred skaters there, and you'll just have a good time. So go pick up your tickets tonight, and have a great, great night. I'm so glad all of you have come to Inferno. I'm very glad to be Let's just do this real quick while you're reaching in your wallets and getting out 50 or $100 bills that you're going to put in the offering. Let's ju I just want to find out where you're from. If I call your state, you just holler out, okay? I'm going to call out just a few of the states here in the area, and if there's any I miss, you let me know. If you're here from Ohio... Tennessee. I thought there was somebody here from Tennessee. 
and you want to give, we'd love for you to, and we're going to give you this opportunity. Would you bow your heads with me for a word of prayer? Lord Jesus, thank you for this night, this very special night that you've given to us. I ask that you would anoint the service the rest of the way. Let it be a great blessing in all of our lives. I'm asking that you would bless this offering, and we'll give you praise for this in Jesus' name. Amen. There will be a handsome young man or beautiful young lady nearby to follow their directions and give as unto the Lord.
right now. You have to be a little more vocal about it. You have to lift up your voice a little louder. Raise it to the next level. Raise the decimal level just a little higher in this place. I'm here to tell you tonight that you can have everything that God has ever promised you. Somebody may get the Holy Ghost. Somebody may get the victory. Somebody may get the healing. Somebody may get the deliverance. You can have it. It's yours in Jesus' name.
seat tonight, or to wherever you're going to call the seat for the next few minutes. We have a man of God here to preach the word of the Lord. I'm so glad he's here. This brother Jeff Arnold pastors in Gainesville, Florida. He really needs no introduction. He's blessed all of us with the word of God many times. Would you stand, please? I said, find your seat. I said, now, just find it. Look at I want everybody to focus your attention on this pulpit, okay? For the next few minutes, the next hour, however long, you focus right here. Because what you're going to need tomorrow is going to come across this pulpit. What you're going to need in school next week is going to come across this pulpit. How you're going to defeat the Goliath in your life is going to come across this pulpit. Everything else was just to bring us to this point. Focus on this pulpit. Focus on the man of God. And let's hear what God saith the word of the Lord. Put your hands together and give a big hand on our welcome to Pastor Jeff
deliver the Midianites into thine hand. Let all the other people go, every man unto his place. Look at verse 12. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the children of the east lay along in the valley like grasshoppers for multitude. And their camels were without number as the sand by the seaside for multitude. Now I want you to get these correlated in your mind. God says, uh, let everybody go home except the 300 people. On the other side of the picture, the Amalekites and Midianites are so many that they're like the sand by the seashore and the camels are without number. Okay, just get the picture in your mind. Now, let's go to another scripture. If we could, I'd like to go to uh, 1 Kings chapter 20, and verse 26. 1 Kings chapter 20, verse 26. You got it? came to pass at the return of the year that Ben-Hadad numbered the Syrians and went up to Aphek to fight against Israel. And the children of Israel were numbered and were all present and went out against them. And the children of Israel, I want you to get the picture, pitched before them like two little flocks of kids. But the Syrians filled the country. Get the picture? Two little flocks of kids. Whole countries filled with the problem. Okay? Romans chapter 8, verse 31. Sorry to keep you standing so long, but you won't be standing much longer. Got it? What shall we say then? What shall we say then, say to these things, if God be for us? Yeah. Hallelujah. That's good all by itself. If God be for us, who can be against us? And I'll just quote the last one to save you time it comes from the gospel of Luke chapter 22 verses 31 and 32 and then Jesus said unto him Simon, Simon Satan has desired to have thee that he might sift thee as wheat but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen the brethren so with these four little pictures and probably one or two extra ones for a few minutes I'd like to preach to somebody here tonight on the subject the odds are in your favor the odds are in your favor I want you to turn and look at somebody and yell at them real loud hey Flash if you're going to place a bet put it on me Everybody in Jesus' name, and everybody said amen. amen. You may be seated.
speaks to you and says, you don't stand a chance. I want to tell you right now, that voice is telling you the truth. You don't stand a chance. It just didn't finish telling you of losing. in Las Vegas, check the odds. The famous man in the TV and the radio and the newspapers is Jimmy the Greek, and he bets on all the Tyson fights and all the fights everywhere, and, and he makes sure he finds out what the odds are, and people who are wagering money will check the odds to make sure that they bet on the winner. Three to one, six to one, they check the stats. They check their physical attributes, they check their past records, they, they check the company's earnings, they look at obvious problems, and when they look at this, investors dislike risk. And the bookies always go with the odds. But I want to tell you tonight, do not let the obvious rob you of your faith in the invisible.
said, I told you, Flash, you better put your money on me. Let me try to 
Have you ever thought it's kind of dumb that when they bumped off Jesus, they put him in a tomb, put a stole in front of him, watch this, sealed it, and then set guards? Say it anyway. 
thing, flesh is going to frustrate your brain. You're going to start saying, I don't see how it can happen. That's doubt talking. That's a devil spirit talking. Don't tell anybody, I don't know how. You don't have to know how. You just have to know who. But if God is on their team, the tug of war is over. 